Hey friends, my name is Yi and you're watching Yi Mr. Easy. And welcome to a new video for IGCSE Advanced. And today, we have a new video on rules and examples for differentiation, which is an interesting topic. And we'll get right into some basics first. But before we get into it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And we'll have some basics. So differentiation is basically a gradient function, and it is to find the specific gradient at a specific point, given the equation, given like the function, or like equation of the curve or the line. So we have two notations here. We have number one, the Lagrange notation. It uses the like the notation f of x or y, and then the, Le the Leibniz notation. It uses dy over dx, and this right here for derivative or differentiation. So here we have a basis for differentiation. If y equals ax to the power of n, then dy over dx equals an x to the power of n minus 1. Or if f of x equals ax uh, to the power of n, then, then uh, like f, uh, like the derivative of f will be an x to the power of n minus 1. So in this case, this right here, you will call it uh, differentiate y with respect to x because you, you are like differentiating with respect to x right here. So it looks complicated, so let's do some quick examples. So if y equals x squared, dy over dx, or basically uh, yeah, dy over dx, will be, you, you first pull the power down right here, and then the power will have to do minus 1. So you pull the power down, so the 2 will be a bit 2, uh, an, an integer, 2, x, and the power minus 1, 2, minus 1, and then it'll just be 2x, like so. And if we have an, an, another example, y equals 3x squared, dy over dx will be, you pull the power down, but you have to also times the coefficient. So 2 times 6 will be equal to 6, uh, two, sorry, 2 times 3 will be equal to 6, and the power minus 1 will be 6x, like so. Then we have more about gradient, finding gradient with differentiation. If f of x equals 3x squared plus, uh, square plus x, and you want to find the gradient at x equals 3, you would, do, you would like, differentiate f of x with respect to uh, x, so it will be 6, 6x plus 1, and substitute x with 3, or like any other point that you want to find your gradient in, so it will be 6 times 3 plus 1 equals 10. Meaning in x equals 3, the gradient is 10. And this gradient is a gradient of the tangent. So like when you have a curve like this. So let's say if this is minus 3 right here. Sorry, if this is 3. This right here. Oops. This gradient right here. Which is 90 degree. So this. This right here, the gradient is 10. M equals 10. And for finding coordinates. So if f of x equals 3 x squared plus x, and you want to find the point with a gradient of 3, which is basically the opposite, you will first differentiate uh, f of x equals 6x plus 1, and set the f of uh, the f, sorry, f inverse x, not f of x, you, uh, you will set this equals 3, and, and hence it will be 6x plus 1 equals 3, and then solve for x, which is just x equals 1 over 3. And then you will first, then you will just substitute the x equals minus, uh, x equals 1 over 3, back into the original equation right here to get the value of y because this is y like so then you get the coordinates 1, 3 and 2 over 3 and the gradient at that point is 3 then we have tangent and normal so the gradient you get from differentiating a function will, will always be the gradient of the tangent as I said just now so like tangent right here at this point the tangent it will be a 90 degree and to convert, to find the um, the the, um, the gradient of the normal, you have to do the, you have to do like the negative reciprocal of the tangent, which is basically times the function times the gradient by minus one, and you flip the fraction like reciprocal to get the gradient of the normal. And in this case, this will be the tangent, like so, and this will be the normal because normal and tangent are always ninety degree to each other, like so. So if you have a tangent, uh, like tangent, the gradient is, let's say, 3, then the normal will be equal to uh, the normal, 3, normal, will be equal to minus 1 over 3. And if the tangent is 1 over 3, 
sorry, let's do it 2 over 3. The normal will be minus 3 over 2. And then we have stationary point. So you do dy over dx equals 0 to find the stationary point, which is basically the stationary point is where the gradient is equal to 0. So when you have a quadratic right here, the stationary point might be this point right here, which is basically the maximum or the minimum point. So for example, if y equals 3x squared plus 2x, you would differentiate, um, so this is meant to be dy, not du, dy, oops, dy, dy equals dx equals 6x plus 2, and then, so, and then set 6x plus 2 equals 0 and, serve for, uh, and solve for x and y, meaning the point here in the graph is a stationary point or maximum or minimum point. Then we have chain rule and product rule. So here we have chain rule and product rule. So generally we have um, uh, dy equals dx equals dy over du times du over dx because they basically cancel out like so. So in application, let's say you have y equals ax squared plus bx uh, to the power of n. You would set ax uh, to the power of 2 uh, ax squared plus bx equals u. So it will basically be u to the power of n like so. Like, like this. Hence, if you differentiate dy to, uh, with respect to du, it will be n u to the power of n minus 1. And if you, div if you uh, if differentiate y at u with respect to x, you get 2ax plus b. Because this is u right here and you differentiate it. So since dy equals dx plus equals this, you basically times them both together to get this. So it looks really complicated, so let's just do some example. y equals x squared plus 1 squared, sorry, x squared plus x uh, squared. So we can actually just skip the u part to do it straight away. So dy over dx will be, you pull the, you pull the, the power down, 2, oops, 2 times by, you have to differentiate the inside. So x squared plus x will be 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1. And then you have to minus the power of this right here by 1. So it'll be x squared plus x. And that, that's basically it. It looks complicated, but it's really not. You just have to know the technique. And for product rule, where u and v are differential functions of x, and generally if this, then it'll be this. So also it looks a bit complicated. So let's do an example. So if y equals x, x plus 1, we could just expand, we can just like expand the bracket to get x squared plus x, but we will just use this as an example for product rule. So set this as v and u. It will be v times u, uh, u prime, this right here. Basically it just means like, differenti like differentiate the u, which is x times x plus 1 differentiate will be 1, plus by v, which is x plus 1, differentiate that to get, differentiate v to get, like differentiate x to get 1, so it'll be times by 1. So it will be x plus x plus 1 equals 2x plus 1. And that will, get, that will get you the same answer if you do x squared plus x and differentiate it. Then we have some quotient rule which, is apply, which applies to fraction. So if we have u over v, we have this right here, which is quite complicated. So I'll just break it down. So if, v equal, uh, if y equals u over v, then dy over ds equals v differential of u minus u differential of v over v squared. So let's say we have y equals 3x plus 1 over 2x plus 1. You have to do, you have to set the top as u and the bottom as v. Then it'll be v u prime or like differential minus u v prime over v squared. So let's just do this. v will be 2x plus 1 times the differential of u, which is 3. So minus u, which is 3x plus 1, 3x plus 1, times by the differential of v, which is 2. So all over v squared, which is 2x plus 1 squared, like so. And you can simplify it. Then we have some proof. So this is called the differential, uh, differentiation from the first principle proof. And I won't get into the like, more like complicated because there are more videos about it online and this is more like a basic video. But basically what this is, is that you have like a curve and you set two point right here. It will be like x, x plus h and the corresponding y, y plus h and then you would just like prove it from there.
by using some limits and to like um, basically um, evaluate it and simplify. Then we have some examples. So number one, differentiate x to the power of 5. So x to the power of 5, let's say y equals x to the power of 5, you would differentiate it by pulling the power down. So pulling the power down will be 5 x, then the power minus 1 will be 4. So 5 x to the power of 4, like so. And number 2, differentiate root 49 uh, x to the power of 7. So y equals root 49 x to the power of 7. So let's just simplify this for a bit. So it basically means 49, root 49, 49 times root x to the power of 7. Root 49 will be 7 and times by x to the power of 7 over 2. And basically then it means that y, differentiate y, it will be 7 times 7 over 2, which is 49 over 2 x, 7 over 2 minus 1, which is the power minus 1, will be equal to 5 over 2. Like so. Then we have another question. Find the gradient of like of like this function right here at uh, at one over two for x value and zero for the y value. So we have to first differentiate this function. So differentiate the function to get two times four for the first value be eight x minus eight, and you can't just differentiate three because it has no x value because it's technically x to the power of zero. And 0 times 3 will be 0. Basically just nothing. So you, ha you have this differential function right here. So you have to find the, the gradient at x equals 1 over 2. And there's a cool notation right here. Where if you draw a straight line. And in the bottom you write x equals 1 over 2. It means that you have to uh, apply the condition where x is equal to 1 over 2. So x is equal to 1 over 2. x 1 over 2 minus 8. So 8 times 1 over 2 is equal to zero, um, 4, because it's basically half, minus 8, which gets you a gradient of minus 4. And that's a gradient. Then another example, differentiate this right here, we can use some chain rule or other uh, method. So y equals x squared plus 1 to the power of 5. So dy over dx right here will be, you first put the power down, 5 times by the differential of the inside, 2x, just 2x because 1 is nothing. Then you minus the power by 1 for the whole bracket. So x squared plus 1, 5 minus 1 is 4. So, so the answer will be, you simplify it to get 10, oops, 10x uh, and times by x squared plus 1 to the power of 4. Right, so. Then lastly, we have two questions. We have the quotient rule right here. 2x plus 1 over x squared plus 1. So set the top as u and the bottom as v. So y equals 2x plus 1 over x squared plus 1. y at dy dx, or like this right here, will be v squared, v u prime minus u v prime. I like to write it out so that I can see what I have to do. Will be equal to v is the bottom, x squared, so let's just zoom in. It will be x squared plus 1 times by the differential of the top of v, which is 2, minus the top, which is u, 2x plus 1, minus the differential of the bottom, which is uh, 2x, because it's differentiating x squared plus 1, which is 2x, all over v squared, which is x squared plus 1 squared. And then you basically just simplify it to get 2x squared plus 2, oops, x squared plus 2, minus, oops, minus 4x squared, plus, uh, minus 2x, and x squared plus 1 squared. Now just write it up here. So 2x squared minus 4x will be minus 2x squared, minus 2x plus 2, over x, uh, x squared plus 1 squared. So, and you can probably just factorize the two out of the top, but I'll just leave it here. And I should I'll write it in a new color. So it'll be 2 times by minus x squared minus x plus 2. And you know what? I can just turn the 2 into a minus 2. So minus 2 x squared plus x minus 2 times by x squared plus 1 
squared, like so. And lastly, we have this last question. The curve y equals x squared minus 3x plus 4 passes through the point p, p is 1, 2, and q is 3, 4. Find the tangent equation of the tangent at p. So first we have to find the differential. So dy dx or this equals 2x minus 3 if you differentiate this. So if you put x in there at p, it will be 2 minus 3, which is minus 1. So the first equation has a, equa has a gradient of minus 1. Let me just pop this out. So you'll do y equals mx plus c, where the m is one, minus 1, so minus 1, minus x plus c. So do it when x equals 1 and y equals 2, because that's what p is, y equals 2. So it'll be 2 equals minus 1 plus c, and therefore c equals 3. So we have m equals minus 1 and c equals 3. And put that into the original equation, y equals mx plus c, you will get y equals minus x plus 3, like so. And for question b, let b, we have the differential as well, y prime equals 2x minus 3. If you put um, x equals 3, because that's where the, um, the point at q is for the x value, 2 times 3 minus 3 will be 6 minus 3, which is just 3, like so. And but the, you have to notice that it's a, it's a normal gradient. So you have to do negative reciprocal, which is minus 1 over 3. So the gradient is minus 1 over 3. So, then put that into a new equation of y equals mx plus c, y equals minus 1 over 3 x plus c. You put it when x equals 3, or x equals 3, and y equals 4. And then it'll just be y equals minus 1 over 3 times 3 is minus 1 plus c, and therefore c equals 5. So c equals 5. And put that into the y equals mx plus c form, to get a final answer of y equals minus 1 over 3x plus 5. And these are the final answers. And that's it for this rules and examples video for differentiation. And I hope you find it useful and helpful. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you, have any, if you have any comments or constructive feedback about my channel or my YouTube or my website or anything, you can drop them off in your comment section and I'll reply to them. And check out my social media in the description, for example, LinkedIn or YouTube or Instagram. And if you need any learning resources or any teaching resources, you can check it out in my website in the description or you can type it out in your browser at www.yemixeasy.com. And I hope you'll find it useful and helpful and I'll see you all in the next video which will be questions for differentiation. But until then, Stay safe and happy learning.